Good morning, beautiful. So uh, we're right here in Zone 9, Florida, and we still have a very plush and green, green garden. And um, definitely seems like it's a, a very wet hurricane season for us, and I hope it just stays like that, wet and not windy and tumultuous with, you know, all that disheveling that winds tend to do during hurricanes. So what I wanted to do is share just a little bit about the deadheading. I know that uh, today my... My big thing is I have to, what I want to do today is mow grass and uh, I want to take down some of the banana trees. So we'll do a little walkie walk around the garden. And John Hurst was showing his caterpillars on his milkweeds and here are my milkweeds, some of them, as you can see. Some are, have some pods here and some have beautiful flowers. Look at this one's are ready to burst into action. Which way is to show you? I want to show you. Look, look how, where is that? Look at all the seeds on here. And, uh, other things in my garden. Look at these beautiful, uh, this is decorative ginger. And the decorative ginger is turning into this beautiful color. And my friends, what they tell me to do with this is that to harvest the flowers and then just squeeze out the juice and it has the most beautiful scent and you could use that as a rinse a final rinse on your hair for that beautiful ginger sweet smell and then the other one is um or on your body which is really great look at these beautiful plants here and so the article that i saw was about deadheading uh your flower beds and I truly believe that that, um, that is really important if you want to keep your flower beds full with flowers. And so I just have, oh my God, everything is so overgrown. It's like, oh my goodness, look at all the grass everywhere. Um, so I have to do a lot of, uh, what's it called, weeding? Oh, but anyway, look at this. These are my zinnias and just really beautiful and that's i've been i've been doing that process of deadheading and just removing the deadheads here like even on this one I, i'm going to wait a little bit more because um there's still moisture in the air so what i've learned is when you wait till it's nice and sunny and then you can go ahead and and remove some of the uh, oh look at this beautiful bumble the bumbles how beautiful and the butterflies and the moths how amazing is all of this? So one of the things that you do want, even if you have a vegetable garden, you I think mostly if you have a vegetable garden, you, you want to plant some flowers. The zinnias are the fastest to get the, the blooms going and attract the butterflies and the bumbles to your to your garden. So you could see I'm gonna go in here and I will be deadheading different areas here as well. And uh, I've got different types of flowers growing in here from the gladiolus, which you've seen that in another garden, to um, the birds of paradise. I've got some sweet potatoes in here. Just a nice little batch. So definitely I need to come and do some maintenance and remove some of that. And then this is my uh, lemongrass row for tea. And so I come in here. Yes, it's decorative. It serves as a front hedge in front of my house, but also most importantly, I come in and I trim the the leaves and the, that it makes some beautiful delicious herbal teas with that and so and here is uh oh helsinki helsinki uh and it, i i just let that kind of grow oh i'm sorry i'm actually looking at something and not sharing it with you um i love how this looks like it comes up and it creates these little white flowers and it's a type of clover do you see it i'm trying to see if you can see it I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the Helsinki. And then, so it just, it becomes like a ground cover. Uh, oh, look at the... Oh, anyway. I just wanted to pop in and say hello. Definitely gonna wish you a beautiful day and I've got to clean my jungle I've got to weed my jungle I've got my marigold beds are 
really popping and rocking as you can see. You see the little marigolds? Do you, do you see the marigolds? Where's the marigold? There's the marigolds. Yeah. So, and there's Miss Helen. <laughs> there's Miss Helen. Don't show them your booty. There you go. Say hello, Miss Helen. Anyway. My friends got a lot of work in the garden today. As you can see, I've got to take down some of the bananas that have been overwatered. Hey, oh well, my neighbors. Anyway, bye. Wishing you a beautiful day.